Hello again, welcome to the channel, and today we'll be listing some of the most underrated songs present in each of Eminem's nine major studio albums. We touch, I feel a rush. We clutch, it isn't much, but it's enough to make me wonder what's in store for us. It's lust, it's Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe Eminem has any bad album, and even Encore, that is usually thrown under the bus when talking about Eminem's projects, had some really great songs, which makes it impossible for me to hate. Today we'll be listing the most underrated songs on each of his albums based on the fact that most of his songs don't even make it into the top 10 most streamed tracks on each album, despite being great in my opinion. Remember, I am in no way suggesting that these are the best songs on the albums, but I believe they are criminally underrated. Before we get started, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on notifications. Who came through with if you love Eminem's alter ego Slim Shady, then I'm Shady is pretty much a summary of what you should expect from the persona. Remember, at the release of the Slim Shady LP, Eminem was still unknown to the world, so this song was pretty much an introduction to the Shady persona that's had a love-hate relationship with the world ever since. I'm Shady contains some of Eminem's most memorable bars. I listen to your demo tape and act like I don't like it. Six months later, you hear your lyrics on my shit. People don't buy and you can imagine how the public reacted listening to lyrics like this. I like funny things that make me happy and gleeful. Like when my teacher suck my weed me in preschool. I never knew why, knew why, knew why. I never knew why, knew why. Mic check, one, two. I never knew why, knew why. After the Slim Shady LP, some media journalists believed Eminem's music influenced listeners negatively and pushed them to ridiculous acts like violence and drug use. And who knew is a song about these ridiculous claims? But don't blame me when Lil Eric jumps off of the terrace. You should have been watching him. Apparently, you ain't parents. Imagine becoming a wife beater because Eminem told you it's cool in his music. And since they take his music literally, Eminem cooked up this bar for those who take his music literally. Oh, you want me to watch my mouth? How? Take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around? The song is filled with satirical jokes about these claims with some bars that will still make you chuckle every time you listen. I'm sorry, there must be a mix up. You want me to fix up lyrics while the president gets his dick up? <sighs> Fuck that, take drugs, rape, blood. I found it shocking when I checked the streams and found out that this song did not make the top 10 of the most streamed tracks on the Eminem show. Say Goodbye Hollywood is one of my favorite songs on the album, and it's quite sad to see that many fans don't appreciate it as much. Eminem was getting so big at this point, and he had to move away from drama that could make him lose it all. I just sold two million records, I don't need to go to jail. I'm not about to lose my freedom over no female. I need to slow down, try to get my feet on solid ground. Imagine moving away from a life of poverty to selling nearly two million albums in one week only to lose it all because you get involved in some street level beef or domestic violence. On this song, Eminem also talks about being trapped in fame and losing his freedom. It's like the boy in the bubble who never could adapt. I'm trapped. If I can go back, I never would have rapped. I sold my soul to the devil. I'll never get it back. If there's any bitches in this room, <laughs> spend some time. One of my favorite tracks on Encore is sadly underrated, despite being a timeless song in my opinion. The song features Ovi Tri, Stat Quo, and 50 Cent, and they all speak out about their experiences with love, flings, and heartbreak. Eminem starts the song with a been there done that advice for guys who fall in love as soon as they get a whiff of attention from a female. For all the fools who fell for the first girl who comes their way, way. I've been down that road and now I'm back, sitting on square one. And for real, I never get tired of that hook. My darling, there is conflict between Eminem and his alter ego Slim Shady, and although some believe the deep voice belongs to the devil, it is in fact a struggle between Eminem and Slim Shady. At this point, Eminem wants to be left alone to carry on with his career, but Slim Shady is not about to lose his grip, although Eminem thought otherwise. I had you beat. No, I was playing possum. Remember, I let you watch your little girls blossom. I gave you enough time, your soul's mine. I'm taking it back. 
and Eminem's dark side Shady pulls some tricks to get Eminem to relapse. What up, Drain? Check this out, Slim. I gotta talk to you. I don't know what this seems like ever since you got off your drugs, you became a lot softer. But and this song certainly deserves more praise and attention than it gets. Recovery is mostly loved by fans, although there's a minority that believe it's one of Eminem's worst albums. However, commercially speaking, as per votes according to the wallets of fans, this is not true. Almost Famous is one of the best tracks on the album but doesn't get the praise it deserves. The song is centered on Eminem's rise from battle rap to worldwide superstar status, which is similar to the plot of the movie with the same name, Almost Famous. I'm back for revenge. I lost the battle that ain't happening again. I'm at your throat like strip. I step strap with a pin. And Eminem even touches on the subject of how he had to transform after Infinite failed to get him a record deal. Evil Twin is an easy one to miss at first listen, but when you pay attention, you realize it's one of the most complex songs on the album. The song is about Eminem and his alter ego Slim Shady, and has some fun bars like this. When Eminem is on his crazy dark side, we always assume it's Slim Shady talking, but at the end of the song, Eminem claims responsibility for it all. Still shady inside, hair every bit as dyed as it used to be When I first introduced y'all to my skittish side And blamed it on him when they tried to criticize Cause we are the same, bitch You wanna take it from the top? Lady, you remind me of my raps on that relapse shit Cause you gotta... Heat was one of the playful songs on the Revival album, and I know some fans prefer the serious Eminem most of the time, but in my opinion, Heat was a fun light-hearted song that is underappreciated. Heat has got some funny lines here and there, and if you don't take life too seriously all the time, you'd find Heat to be quite enjoyable. Grab you by the yeah. hope it's not a problem, in fact, about the only thing I agree on with Donald is that. So I've seen a couple of comments on YouTube hating this song, and if you don't like it, good for you. But I believe it's a light-hearted gem on revival. So like a chick who thinks a coochie don't stink, if she ain't planning to do shit this summer's eve. Maybe she wants to keep me company. But and this sample from Mark Wahlbeck's character from Boogie Night was the perfect ending he deserved. Here we go again from heroes to villains. Used to be yo, go me yo, but we both were jilted. The music video for Good Guy is out now, and a lot of reactors on YouTube viewed Good Guy as one of their least favorite songs on the album. But thankfully, Eminem ignored these guys and made a music video. Good Guy has a timeless sound and flow to it in my opinion, and we even explained the lyrics to this song in a previous video. You can find it at the link that pops up at the top right corner. Good Guy continues right off after Nice Guy on Kamikaze and also explores the outcomes of a confusing relationship. But still it gave me hope that we'll get through it together a separate earlobe. Mail to you in a ENV elope would be dope. And is likely the most underrated song on the album. In a way, it shows you how great Kamikaze was overall, and in that sense, it's not such a bad thing that it's one of the underrated songs on the album. If you enjoy the content of this channel, remember that you could donate to the channel at the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and remember to tell us in the comments section the songs you believe are the most underrated in each of Eminem's albums. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoy this, and check out our other videos on the channel. Thank you.